Welcome and thank you so much for stopping by, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Well, maybe some of you. I I've been waiting for it. That's right. We are starting over. It's a brand new series, and the catchy name is No Cash Clash. That's right. So I'm finally doing it. I am finally starting over from the very beginning. And it's been a while, honestly, since I've done this. Now, you know, recently I did do the whole Town Hall 1 to Town Hall 12 in just a few minutes episode. You know, it's been a long time since I've actually played through the game early on. And so that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, here's the catch to this series. Obviously, as I go through the lower Town Halls, things are going to slow down. So I'm asking you, the viewer, and I know... I. You know, I, I know you're going to tell me it's annoying when YouTubers ask for likes, okay? If you agree, like the video. If you want to see more, also like the video. Because I'm going to base this entire series upon your viewer response, okay? So I don't need to get 100,000 views per episode. Or I don't care about that that much. But what I want is engagement, okay? So if this is something you truly want to see, a free-to-play account from Galadon progressing through the town halls, then please do hit the like button, okay? If we get 5,000, if we get 5,000 likes on this episode, there will be an episode two, okay? And then we'll go from there and we'll just see what happens, all right? If you guys are enjoying it, and again, I expect the video should get more than 5,000 views, but that's not the point. It's not gonna make me a bunch of money. I'm not gonna get a million views on this episode. I just want to see if there is a small group of players that would really genuinely enjoy this. If you think you will, then please do make the like button happy by gently depressing it. Okay, so that's the last time I'm gonna ask until the end of the episode and maybe one more time. I'm kidding. Okay, so I had to talk through the tutorial anyway because I mean, we've all seen this. It's boring, it's whatever. And here we go. So it's off to name myself. Now, this is something that I had a lot of difficulty with. And I honestly, I'm a little bit unhappy with the name that I came up with. So if you guys can come up with a different name, a better name than Galadont, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, for now, we are Galadont. And that's just the way it's going to be. We'll see in the future if we find a better name. If one of you names it and I use the name, I've got an Amazon gift card for you, okay? If you can name it, if you're the first person that I saw the suggestion from. Okay, so again, now also, saying that this series is going to be a little bit slow is probably an understatement. I will be live streaming the series on Facebook. And also, I think that I'm probably going to fast forward a little bit. And what I mean by fast forward is the second episode will likely be Town Hall 3. Now this very first upgrade of the army camp, which is probably the first thing you should do, get more troops to attack with, it takes an hour. I mean, this is, oh man. Okay. Now, obviously if I'm streaming this, I'm going to have to switch accounts, but I feel like maybe, okay, just this one time, because it is an hour, I'm thinking maybe just this once, We'll go ahead and we'll buy the builder pack because we could use the extra gems and a third builder is just going to really speed things up. Okay, so we're just going to pick up the builder, but that's it. That's it. And then I'll stop. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Get out of the comments. Get out of the comments. If you, hey, if you were already hitting the dislike or down in the comments raging at me for spending gems already, I deserve a sorry. Okay, just change your comment, edit your comment to sorry, Galadon because you know I'm just messing with you. All right, so we are not spending gems yet, okay? That's not going to happen, and uh, we're just going to see how it goes, all right? That's the whole point of this game, right? No Cash Clash. That is a catchy name, and we're going to stick to it. Okay, so yes, we are upgrading and placing a few more items, the early on Town Hall 2 stuff. Like I mentioned, there's not exactly a whole lot of strategy going on here. Just going to go ahead and do what the game suggests, and we're not going to rush. That's the other thing about this series, is no rushing. We will completely max out each town hall before we move on to the next. Now, this was the next time I logged on, which was a pretty cruel tease, I have to say. November season challenges, that would be great. I would love to get some free stuff, even if I don't have the gold pass. Let's just take that free silver pass. No, no such luck. It is Town Hall 7. Okay, so we've got a ways to go before we can unlock that, especially free to play. And again, I'm actually looking forward to being refreshed as to how it feels to progress without spending 
any gems at all. And uh, when I say that, we're not even going to try to spend the free gems we got. I'm actually going to try to save those up and see just how many we can accumulate over time through achievements and through clearing obstacles. Now, the obstacles are crazy expensive. I mean, some of these obstacles are 10,000. I don't even have that in storage yet. So we're just going to stick to the green, the new stuff, putting down the cannon barracks gold mine. Eventually, we're going to get those walls down today and we're going to build the most amazing Town Hall 2 base you've ever seen. Okay, uh, but again, back on my priority list, if I'm a new player, I'm going to upgrade that camp so I can attack with more troops, and I'm going to build the second barracks so that I can train more quickly, and then probably go ahead and unlock archers. Definitely want to do some barch. I mean, Town Hall 2 barch. Who doesn't want to Town Hall 2 barch? I'm telling you. Okay, so time for the first attack ever on this account. And this was the other thing that I was quickly refreshed rudely as to, and that is the fact that I have a whopping 479 gold to my name, and it's costing me 50 gold every time I next. So, yeah, not, not a great idea to spend a lot of gold nexting. That was already 100 gold that it cost me just to get to this village. Luckily, one cannon, and look at all of the tombstones. I mean, who who is dying over here? Who is not targeting this cannon first? Okay, so we dropped like three or four barbs, and the rest is history as we get the single defense down and then go the rest of the way through the village. Now, I'm being thrifty. I'm not wasting a bunch of barbs here because, of course, the training time is... It's, it's actually slower than I remembered. I don't know. I was like, wait a minute. It takes how long to train an army? Four minutes. I don't have four minutes. So, but, but okay, here's the thing. And here's the reason I say this. Normally, if you're playing Clash of Clans, you're not playing for an audience. Now, being that I'm live streaming, it definitely changes things because it's so easy just to play Clash, do the upgrades, train your army, walk away, and then come back in 20 minutes, come back in 10 minutes, come back in half an hour or an hour after your upgrades are complete. And so I'll be doing a lot of that in these episodes. When I'm live streaming on Facebook though, we will be just doing short spurts of the No Cash Clash account. And what I mean is we'll switch over to it and play for five or 10 minutes and then leave. And have you guys seen, have you seen the new Supercell ID switch mechanic that they added with the new optional update? Let me show you that in just a second. It makes switching accounts so much faster. It really does. So I'll do that in a moment right after I make the most amazing Town Hall 2 farming base ever. Now, I was asked this in a live stream the other day. What is the difference between a farming base and a trophy base? A trophy base protects your town hall. You're focused on gaining trophies. A farming base obviously protects your resources. And that's what we're doing here. At least we're trying to, uh, you know, and for all practical purposes, you can't really expect to protect much, but at least don't flat out give it away. So if you log on, you hit your collectors, you're putting it in the storages, you put your storages in the center, you put your defenses kind of around it, you try to protect the defenses with the other buildings, and there you go. A relatively solid noob town all two base. I'll take it for now. Okay, so as we get an army trained, we're ready to go and attack. I wanted to show you quickly the new Supercell ID system. Now, at first, it can be a little confusing. I've heard some people talk that it, they think it adds steps. It does not if you use it correctly. So you go to the normal settings screen, and then you see this new bar at the top where it says Supercell ID, and it says connected. Right to the left of the blue connected button is this two arrow blue button. That is the button that you want to press. If you click on that button, it will immediately bring up a listing of all of your other accounts that are on the same device. So here they are listed by email address. I really wish they would list them by player name, but for now it's email address. You scroll, you select the one you want, and that's it. Takes an extra second there and it loads right up and you have it all set. So you don't have to go through the whole disconnect supercell ID and then reconnect. You just use the blue button with two arrows on it. That is the secret. Use that. And if you're not using supercell ID already, what are you doing? Secure your account for gosh sakes. Okay. All right. So let's get into this raid. Uh, at the time, this was the most massive raid that I had ever seen as a baby town hall two, and obviously a much stronger base. I had no chance 
at doing anything to this base other than snipe the gold and elixir that I wanted, and that's exactly what happened. So, you know, of course, we're not worried about trophies this far down here. You're so far away from any significant league bonus. You're, you're far away from a league to begin with. So we filled everything pretty much, massive amount of loot, and we're going to do it again. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the bases that have the loot. And personally for me, I think it is worth an investment of nexting for several hundred gold to find a base that's worth thousands. Okay, I you know, I think that it's worth it. It makes sense. It seems silly that you're wasting like a large percentage of all the gold you own, but when you find a base like this, it's all worth it. Then it's just a matter of being patient. I went ahead and dumped everybody down. I'm not that oh wait. No! No, what is happening? How how are there oh my gosh. There's this is disastrous. Okay, so it's my first clan castle. As a baby clasher, this is a bad feeling. Imagine being a new player and seeing something come out of a building that looks so innocent and looks so quiet. It's over there. It's not very colorful. And next thing you know, you've got massive troops that you've probably never seen before. I've never seen it. Is that a royal giant? What is this? Demolishing my troops. So yeah, this was kind of sad for me. And again, for a brand new clasher, I can imagine this would be shocking. It really would. Okay, so I'm going to lose this raid, but we did pick up a lot of loot and... That's going to wrap up this very first ever episode of No Cash Clash. Again, it is up to you, the viewer, to decide if this is a series you want to continue. If we get 5,000 likes, you will see an episode 2 at Town Hall 3, and so on and so forth. Love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You're the true hashtag Galafam. Now get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to people, animals, and the planet. And I will see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Why does it say you're leaving less time at the end for me to talk?